And so folks, here is the video for the By George set. Uh, we're just gonna show you a brief look around and see how the set uh, was made and put together and also how you can possibly stage it on your stage. Okay, first of all, quick introduction to James Clare. And we've also got John Lockwood just around this corner here. These are the people who've designed, built it. And so let's take a look at each piece individually. First of all, uh, the front flats. How tall are they, James? So they're made in two eight foot by four foot pieces. Uh -huh. um, the way we've attached them on here is we've got some of our hard masking behind and they're screwed in from behind into these um, just as a framing, but you could brace them together. You could probably freestand with a bit of structural support behind. You could potentially fly them if you had appropriate flying kit for that, um, but they're 16 foot high. And there are two of those, so you've got one either side, one's a chip shop and one is a pub. Okay, moving back to the other flats, James, you've got the, uh, the pub toilets here. You can see the toilet sign and the bell on it. Same size, so everything, predominantly everything in this set is built with eight foot by four foot sheets. Um, so are, the, are these, these weighted? Do they stand? The, we free stood them by bracing them together. Let's take a look. Um, so we put a, a cross section in here. All right. And they're screwed down to the floor. And it Understood. The of it fastens also to the corner of the bath. I see. Just Let's bit. just show how it's fastened. There we go. So there's a screw in place just there. Let's take a look quickly behind the bar then. And we can see the stunt mats are in place there that's just where they're stored and the rest is just set dressing uh, the bar lifts like this thanks james so that goes completely back on a set of hinges mm -hmm. and then this is open it's got a spring loaded door closer so it will shut on its own fantastic okay let's just take a quick look at the set dressing we've got the pumps and we've got the uh, the optics there uh, the lights, James, uh, they, yeah, so these are very intricately woven into the set, so... We'll just explain this section. So yeah. this bottom section, this dark brown, um, that's a freestanding piece that sits against the wall and is fastened. Then this section, which is a wooden frame, uh, it doesn't have a back... It, that texture is on the back wall that is behind this. This removes off um, for transport as one whole piece. Um, the optics are then screwed on and then the dressing is all... These are just stapled on, but could be dressed however, however you see fit. And there's a roof as well. Yeah, that is just attached on top, again screwed in um, on the returns. Lighting wise for this, um, there's LED, warm LED, one colour tape on the back. They're just the cables pop through the back and could be wired up to a driver. Um, speakers are um, not working, they're just there for aesthetics. For this production, we put speakers behind to give it that feel that it is coming from this source. Again, they're just screwed on. Um, these lights, uh, for this, they're just a cable that pops through the other side of the flat um, and just be wired together in whatever format the production wanted. We've linked them all into one channel um, just to bring up and down. And there are actually four exits to this stage. So the first one uh, is hidden and isn't something that the audience sees. Uh, this is the, the route to the back of the bar. Then you've got the toilets, and then there's an entrance just in front of the flat that, uh, that John's pointed to there. <laughs> That'll take you to the street area. That's how we've done it with this, uh, this one. Let's take you around the back and show you that we have uh, a staircase that takes us to the orchestra. But again, if you're pitting the orchestra under the stage, then of course you won't need that. Now just take a look around the back here. So for us, for this orchestra, as Richard said, the uh, this all eight foot by four foot steel decking. So this was put up first, positioned so we knew the orchestra could fit there and then we've attached to the set. This is the main structural support for the entire set. Um, so these flats on the back are attached to this which gives it the structural integrity. It could be braced, there's no reason it couldn't be braced and weighted. Um, you probably wouldn't fly it because it's, so, it's only at eight foot so it'd just be a bit tricky. And there are two entrances, one to the pub and one to the uh, chip shop at either side. Uh, these are used and specifically wide enough to get a wheelchair down uh, so that that can, be, that can be done successfully. Let's take a quick look around the back. Um, where did we get the wheelchairs from, James? 
Um, just as a, a website that I cannot recall. <laughs> <laughs> this is the rear entrance to the uh, to the chip shop, and this has got some lighting effects in there, hasn't it, James? Yeah. So these are frosted perspex, so you could light this however you see fit. Um, we've used sight lighting just to throw it in as a, a wide colour, but any type of flood fixture, um, you'd even get away with it for now off stage and pointing in, it just so you don't see the source of the light. Um, but you could do that however you wish. There's a um, socket wide into the back of this flat, which is on the other side of the chip shop, which we'll show you. Um, we've then ran that into a DMX controlled relay unit, which then can turn the insector meter, insect killing machine, um, on and off at appropriate times. Okay, let's go into the chip shop then. The fly curtain. And there's a bin here. Yeah, standard size wheelie bin. Um, we put a little set of steps in it so that... And air holes. Yeah, and air <laughs> holes so that... Should we see the inside of the bin? Not as terrifying when you're in it. No, it's fine. Um, and that is for the pouring that collects everything and just needs cleaning out at the end of yeah. each show. So, uh, the chip shop set itself, James? Yeah, it's it comprised of, um, again, it's a very similar structure to the bar for the actual, this is all MDF um, with a frame on. This is a metal fixture. It's in three parts, so the top section removes, and that's got practical working lights in. Um, and then the two sort of containers, I suppose, um, they lift out, and it's just, it's dropped, it's measured and fits. Um, so it just sits on top of it. Again, this section has got a um, same door with same mechanism. Opens and closes. A working hatch. Goes down. Including a stunt fixture. Yeah, so we just move the bit I can of see right there. Now, this is disguised throughout the show and it's taped, isn't it, John? Okay. Yeah. So you can, you can actually have um, the tape run all the way through there and at the front, disguising it so it can only be used and only noticeable when the, when the stunts actually happened. Yeah, this is just um, self-adhesive foil tape that we found worked best as a... Mm. And you do actually, there is the, the gap yeah. to get your things in. That's right. Um, again, on this side, uh, it works in the same way as the other in that you can bring crash mats on through the concealed entrance we used um, a small step ladder uh, for George to fall off, uh, but everything else is just, well, mise en scène. There we go. And then, is there anything else more practical here? We've got the tills and things, but um, again. Yeah, not really. That's just the back of that socket that was just in. Yes. Um, we wired that off into, yeah. as we said, and that gets popped in. Smashing. Right then, is there anything else to show them, James? No, I think that covers the main. Uh, so it mainly comes down to set dressing, I suppose. That's mm. all the bits and bobs that we've put together. Um, is how you want to do your production. Yeah. Um, our props team have done. We used Panto slosh for the um, batter mix, so that when it gets poured on a, we know it's a it's a suitable substance and it looks looks apart. Um, That'll do. Not, yeah, not much. That's brilliant, James. Thank you so much for showing us around the By George set.